visiting with 10th year head softball coach Mikey Rowan. As you see in the background here, the team's going through their second inter squad of the fall season. Coach, you're given six weeks to practice in the fall. Uh, you're in your third week right now. What are some things that you really try to focus on, and, and do you break a, it up in halves? You know, the first half of the three weeks, you do something, and the other half, you do something else. Or what are the what's the strategy there? Well, we just we're just trying to make it fun for them right now because just being able to play inter squad here on campus. Uh, it's tough to keep them focused on. They know they're not going to play anybody but each other, and you can only play each other so many times, and you know, and, and it's still, still fun. You mentioned uh, off camera something about something changes this year where you couldn't play fall dates, and you know you're, you're forced here to enter squad. Talk about that maybe just a little bit. Well, we we talked back in July that uh, we'd do away with the fall games. In the past, we've always been able to play ten games in the fall. I uh, was able to go up and play University of Memphis, which the girls really like. was able to go down to Delta State and play Delta State. That they, and I had a big uh, fall tournament here that, uh, that we really liked. Had it like 10 teams, and uh, I thought those really helped. I really won't know where my team is until we start the regular season. It's hard to tell in the fall. 18 players on the roster, uh, very young. You, I think you mentioned 14 freshmen. Uh, you know, talk about you know a great season last year. Obviously, what are your you know goals that you set each season, and maybe something that you're looking forward to in 2011? Well, our main goal was always to win the North Half, uh, and then we move on to the state tournament. If we can win the North Half, top four teams from the North get to go, and top team four teams from the South. We play like the SEC. We play a single elimination format. Loser goes home, so uh, it's a tough format for the tournament, but that's what we voted for, so that's what we've got to live with. From the first you know, two and a half, three weeks of fall practice, what are some areas that you really uh, see that you guys really excel in? And is it, is, whether it be team speed, fundamentals, what are some areas that you think that you your team will really be very very sound in? I hope our team speed. we got we got more slappers this year than we've ever had. we got three slappers, uh, got a couple power hitters, and all of our pitching is back from last year. Uh, well, we, we kick off the season here in the spring, and you've got three weeks left to practice. So what are some things that you'll really try to touch on? Uh, maybe some things that you liked through the first three weeks or didn't like, some different areas that you might focus on. Fundamentals. we got to really get fundamentally sound on defense to be able to make the corner plays. We'll have two sophomores playing on the corners. We'll have a, pitcher, a sophomore pitcher in the middle. Be real young up the middle. And... Uh, Real young in the outfield. Realistically, with 14 freshmen, uh, you know, your goal, you said, is to win the North Division. But realistically, what do you think this team can accomplish this year? Uh, time will tell, I guess. <laughs> All right, but Coach. I, I, I expect them to win. All right, Coach, we appreciate you visiting with us and uh, let you finish up here practice. And, and good luck here in the spring season. We'll be talking with you again. All right, appreciate you. Thank you.